Capital in Idaho for the Doomsday Prophet murder case. Chad Daybill was back in court again today for a pretrial hearing where both sides agreed to an April 1st trial date. Well, Daybell faces first-degree murder charges in the deaths of his first wife, Tammy Daybell, as well as the deaths of his current wife, Lori Vallow Daybell's two youngest children, 7-year-old J.J. Vallow and 16-year-old Tylee Ryan. The state is seeking the death penalty in this case. The kids' bodies were discovered on Chad's property in June of 2020. Daybell did not speak at all through the duration of the hearing, but rather allowed his attorney, John Pryor, to voice concerns they had ahead of his trial, including prior withdrawing a previous motion filed on January 30th in which he had sought more time to review expert disclosures. Judge Boyce allotted eight weeks for the trial, which attorney John Pryor agreed to, but he did say that he was concerned due to some of his expert witnesses scheduled to come in during the second week of May, which he says would leave him scrambling to get them in earlier if the state rests its case a bit early. In general terms, I do try to for efficiency and uh, also just to move things along and not inconvenience witnesses. I don't usually like the practice of uh, putting witnesses on the stand and then having them come back later and being recalled. I think once they're there to testify, if there's a way to get all their testimony out while they're there on the stand, that's my preference. So in terms of latitude of who's doing direct or cross. I think we can uh, work with that as the witness is testifying. And uh, sometimes there is a reason why witnesses come back later. And so it's not a foregone conclusion. But with your concerns there on timing, I guess, uh, Mr. Pryor, you just have to try to make your best estimate of when things are going to be happening based on what you think the state's going to be doing and it, it appears the parties are working together but obviously i'd ask the parties to coordinate as much as possible for timing purposes and i know the state probably has the same concerns with when people are lined up to testify and uh, the thing we want to avoid obviously is some big delay where there aren't witnesses ready so uh, to keep the trial moving Judge Boyce also says all witnesses and exhibits must be disclosed by March 10th.